What's going on YouTube? Today I bring you guys the best settings to use in MLB The Show 23, especially if you're trying to be competitive and using the best possible settings to give you the most competitive advantage when you're facing your opponents and putting more user control and outcomes with hitting, pitching, fielding, and all that and not relying on RNG, aka randomness, but when you just throw a ball and you hope that they catch it and you hope you don't throw an error. This puts it more into user control and user input. And these are the settings that I use all the time in BR, rank seasons, tournaments, etc. So first thing first, let's go over the settings real quick and I'll show you why they are the way they are. So general, competitive, hitting difficulty, legend. Oh wait. All right, so competitive game style, legend, difficulty. So if you're playing custom practice or you're practicing the game, practice on legend it will definitely help you out button swing input zone hitting guys make sure you guys are on zone hitting now this is new the free pci anchor which means that you can anchor your pci anywhere in the strike zone you're not it's not gonna like lock you in one of those zones those set nine zones that are on your screen i'll show that in custom practice in a little bit you can put the pci anchor on reset for batter or per game so if you want to have it at the same PCI anchor for every single batter that you use, you can put it on game, or if you wanna reset it every batter, you can. Anchor dots, we use the PCI center, it's gonna be our bat, I think the bat's the way to go. Enter's my wedge, I do, however, fade out my inner, and I have 50% transparency, and my color is yellow. Color, probably a uh, personal preference, transparency, probably a personal preference, but I don't like the, I like to see through a little bit so I can see the ball coming in. So I like it like that. Guest pitch off, vibration, make sure you have that off. For defense, pitching interface, pinpoint, pitching ball marker, I would put this on pitch trail. I think that's one of the better ones. You could also try Chevron. It kind of gives you the break of the ball. So if you're not used to the break of the ball, you can do that as well. Otherwise, pitch trail or the Chevron is the way to go on that one. Uh, throw accuracy, button accuracy, drifting ball, and two button now button accuracy you can also put this on buttons but like i said it button accuracy is going to be the best way for user input it's going to put you in control on whether you make those accurate throws and not the game and the randomness of the game same thing with pinpoint you could use pulse you use you could use pure analog you, you could use classic you could use meter uh pinpoint's the best and then meter but meter is also a lot harder to master in my opinion i think pinpoint is pretty easy and it is the most accurate if you are good with it. Now, for my cameras, I like strike zone high, pitching view, strike zone three. I like seeing uh, from the plate so I can see the runners and standards. In play view offense high, and in play view defense is on medium. These are kind of like personal preference, but on high, you can kind of see where the ball is going to land in the outfield. Is it going to get down? Is he going to make the catch? You can kind of see that a lot easier when in play view offense is on high. So that's why I prefer that. For my music and my commentary, I turn music off. I turn commentary off because I just want to see how the game sounds. And it just puts all that ambient sound that I don't need out of the way. So music, crowd, and commentary, I don't have on at all. I have the sound effects of the hits, some PA volume a little bit, but not too much right there. Now we're going to hop into custom practice. I'm going to make them throw strikes, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why I like the PCI. As you can see, this is on legend difficulty, but he should be throwing strikes. So hopefully we can make contact a little bit. I just like the, having the dot as a PCI as the uh, with the bat because it kind of tells you where the barrel of the bat is at. So if you're hitting the ball at that dot, you're hitting the barrel of the bat, which I think is kind of huge. Uh, when there was like three dots, they had the fly ball, the normal, the contact. I just like the one dot. I wish you could make this dot smaller. I actually wish we could just use the dot and not just have the bat there, but that's okay. As you can see, my inner PCI uh, disappears as he's throwing the pitch. And then, boom, we get a perfect, perfect right there with Harrison Bader. Not too bad right there. And I'm going to show you guys some pitching as well. Pitching's a little bugged on Xbox right now. I feel like it's a little off. Maybe it's my controller. But I feel like it, like, delays a little bit or lags. Pitching's always been more smooth on PlayStation. Uh, but hitting's been better on Xbox. So it looks like it's going to be the same way this this year. So we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to pitching just so you guys can see. This is my pitching view. 
as you can see that the pitching is a little a little choppy a little choppy and i feel like the time is a little different this year because sometimes i'll miss it to where i only get to go down my time see like that right there my time doesn't my time is really off when it comes to pitching right now on xbox i haven't tried the game on playstation yet so i'm not sure how that's going but the main point of this is just practice this if you practice it during a text test or you practice it in custom practice you will master it when you get those perfect inputs we have 96 percent accuracy right there going down just a little late look like but always be late than early if you if you're early on pinpoint guys you are going to hang the pitch much rather be late than early right there i was a little late but see it kind of went exactly where i wanted it to we'll do one more and then we're going to show you guys fielding a little short just a basically a short video showing you guys my settings kind of showing you them in action what they look like all right so now we'll go back to fielding as you can see with the the throw meter on there it's going to make it to where it's it relies on your input so if you don't hit it in the green then you will throw make errors if you hit it in the red but if you didn't have that on then it's basically rng and the game's going to give you what the game's going to give you same with the outfield right there you saw fly ball is a little bit different oh and so if i, if I was to make a throw oh see i missed a throw to third and he's gonna be safe but see if i make that green throw it's guaranteed that he's gonna make that throw every single time if i green it if i don't green it then he is not gonna make that throw so he's gonna, he's gonna make that throw doesn't mean doesn't mean he's gonna be out but he's gonna make a decent throw and if i perfect it there's more chance of that he'll get a better reaction and he'll make it out look at that right there greened it greened it boom he's out and that's kind of why i like that boom boom all right so now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing but we're going to practice type fielding and runner on second yes or runner on third yes no and we're gonna get a fly ball just kind of show you guys what it looks like and they're not running so it's not too out so we're gonna try to throw this runner at home we got a perfect throw with aaron judge going home ah just didn't have enough power there did not have power in the throw aaron hicks now we got bader oh well that was my fault i thought i was in the zone where i was locked into the pitch but i was not locked into the pitch but as you guys can see we can still do it make your throws there'll be a good throw right there we'll do one more let's see what we can do well that one doesn't work um let's do it again there we go now we should have a, a good idea we got a green throw but he doesn't have the power so that one we probably should have cut off but see how the throw was on target it wasn't a perfect throw but it was a green throw so it was definitely gonna get there uh nope green throw green throw okay one more one more and we'll call it but this is how you guys practice i know it's been difficult oh that's not a good throw i mean it's a decent throw but it's not good because if, if it was a green throw then it would be a glove slide oh my god okay that ball was crushed okay let's see if we can actually relay this that's a good relay that's not a good relay and you'll see if the ball's off but anyways those are the best settings possible for user input puts you in control on whether you get outs you in control whether you hit the ball properly if you're your pci is on the ball and you in control when pitching and whether you miss your spot or hit your spot is based off your input. And that's what matters and puts you more in control. So there's less RNG and the skill gap is much higher. It is going to be harder to learn. But once you master it, you're going to be better at the game than the average player by far. Anyways, I hope this does help you guys out. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new for more MLB The Show 23 tips, tricks, how to make stubs. We are full no money spent over here on this channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.